Good morning, fans, privateer, FX. Coming at you on the Monday here after non farm blowout. Uh, risk on Bonanza, 8th of June. Quiet overnight. Um, crude up a little bit here, 40, 44. Um, the highs. Gap fill is 40.90. Uh, sorry, the gap fill, the close on um, the 6th of March was um, 41.28. So, a ways, you know, another 2% or so, or really 3% until the gap is filled. Something to watch up there between sort of, I would say, 40.80 and 41.30. Um, you might want to look to sell crude first time. Gold obviously smashed on the numbers on Friday. I would say holding up pretty well. This could be this could be a lot lower. Uh, somehow it's not. So we don't know what to do with it yet. As we've been talking about, we're we're trying to get long. It does look like there's a washout in the making here. 1671 is the next interesting point uh, and this could be an interesting tactical short uh, keep an eye on rates and keep an eye on risk proxies in general euro traded up to 20 overnight uh, 84 the low here we are at 88 lower end of the range first red bar in a while uh, Chrissy Lagarde is speaking this afternoon, so let's keep an eye on that. Pretty boring session in general. If you look at the hourlies, it's just kind of following equities as equities went up to the highs. Um, Euro went up. Now they've come back down. Euro yen charts a little more interesting. Um, we, we talked about it on the thousand point mark on uh, Friday. 124.41 was the 1,000, or what, what was the exact low? Yeah, 124.40 was the 1,000 point mark, 43 the high, 51 stop, untouched. Um, traded up to 12 overnight. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, T traded up to 12 overnight. Here we are at 50. This is kind of like confirmation of this daily bar, which looks like a turn, doesn't it? Uh, super difficult to trade this kind of turn. Uh, because technically your stop really needs to be above 124.40, so you're leaving a 100-point stop. Uh, I don't recommend this uh, for beginners. You really have to try and get yourself an average or time this an exceptionally well uh, through an event for it to be uh, a properly constructed trade. The risk reward of 100 points is just never going to work out, right? Even if you make 100, it's one to one risk reward, and that's not something we're really interested in uh, in general. But it does look like it's leaning south after a strong northward journey. Um, keep an eye on Euro Yen uh, 123.50. Cable's bid, um, kind of a sneaky little uh, open through the 200 day nobody has this there are millions of reasons to be short cable um, starting with leadership and and economy and covid and brexit um, but there's also plenty of reasons to be long cable flexibility of going solo uh, sort of a resilient population archetype uh, you could say uh, the city of London you can never short the city of London um, so price is telling us this is going higher positioning is telling us this is going higher uh, we like cable higher euro sterling its um, brother-in-law there 8870 is important euro sterling looks like it's heading lower uh, again nobody has this uh, which is one of the reasons we like it directionally. May or may not make sense. 
don't really care. Uh, keeping an eye on this. Remember for the Euro crosses, uh, Christine Lagarde is speaking this afternoon. So I don't know what new new news she could give us. Um, I think it's good for her to keep practicing this sort of public persona because she looks like she needs a little practice there. Um, hopefully she's a bit steadier today and uh, we'll, we'll see what she has to say. Third Euro cross that we're looking at, Euro CAD still 150.50. Um, who knows, uh, a couple of the banks, a couple of the banks put out research pieces to buy CAD Swiss this week as the chart of the week. Um, buying CAD Swiss is the same thing as selling EuroCAD, uh, so we'll see how this um, this comes together in general. Dollar yen taking a little bit of a breather, still bid. Um, where do you want to buy this? I would I would be a little bit more patient today. Um, Obviously, buying this on the 108 handle is, is a little a lot sexier, I think. We could be in for some sort of uh, down move here. I don't even know why. It just feels like it's a little bit overextended. This Euro-Yen chart worries me. Uh, so keep an eye on Dollar-Yen. We wanted to try and buy it on the 108 handle. Uh, we like a northward journey in Dollar-Yen still. Aussie-Yen not doing much. Swiss yen turn bar there. This is basically a different version of euro yen, right? 113.58 confirms some sort of turn. Uh, we are not involved in Swiss yen. Kiwi yen uh, made a new high, as did ES last night, so it probably coincided. Uh, there is one sort of last gap fill at 72 cents, uh, Kiwi Yen. We tried shorting this at 70 cents. Scratch that. Looked good down there, right? We, we traded down to 69.60, uh, but no dice. You want to try and sell this again. 72.20 is your uh, bingo number. Aussie. Kind of turnish, but not really. You know, we got paid on the tactical book being short Aussie. Um, great. Go ahead and give yourself a banana. Um, as a few of the other Twitter followers mentioned, 70 30 is very, very important in Aussie. This is obviously stretched. If you're still short from Friday at 70 cents, you could probably keep this. Uh, looks sort of tradable to me more than directional so I would grab take the money and try and resell I mean we we were able to resell 90s like three times on Friday right 60 90 60 90 you can see it on the hourlies this looks like it's a tradable top more than a directional top so heads up on that dollars are we're still waiting here when is this gonna turn um, some of the longer term thinkers think all of EM has a big downside here, uh, especially on for, on Wednesday if Powell is, is dovish still and is like key, QE pedal to the metal. Um, this could roll. We don't like that direction, so we're just waiting for a turn. No turns here um, so far. And if you like that direction, the dollar max chart is 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 more interesting. Uh, through 50, it will be interesting today for trend followers. Kind of the same chart as as um, dollars are, but just a slightly better technical pattern. Take the four hourlies. You can see we're just kind of pausing here at 50, and you have these lows here. Well, those are at 37, but if you're a trend follower and you think risk on is going to continue and you think the U.S. dollar is going to continue to get smashed, there's some there's some fresh air here, right? There's, the big support doesn't come into 119.50 uh, or 1987. 
we don't recommend trading this in Europe. Dollar Max in Europe is um, for the brave or very stupid. I'm not sure, uh, but we're keeping an eye on this level, 19, uh, 2150. Uh, see how it goes. Anyway, you can see what we're looking at. Uh, we like sterling higher today again. We like euro sterling lower. We're watching this level in euro yen. We're watching a level in dollar mex. <clears throat> These two are equal and opposite, right? Euro yen is risk off. Uh, dollar mex is risk on. So these are tactical levels. Uh, we're trying to scoop some cash in. And um, we are also watching EuroCAD, which is 100 points away. I don't think it's going to happen today, but this is just on the watch list for a while now, right? So uh, see how that goes. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.